I've lost 3.4 kilos in 24 hours. 10 a.m. I wanted to kill someone and eat them. I honestly don't know how much more I can take of this. This is not fun at all. Good morning, guys. So day one of the fast. Now, only thing I've done today is um, woke up, weighed in at 78.8. And you're probably thinking, why on earth are you doing this to yourself? Because I love food. And first of all, I'm, I'm actually really sick. I woke up today feeling so sick and I'm like, awesome. Is that an excuse to just think stuff that I'm just gonna eat? Yes, and I, and I probably should have, but I'm sticking to it. So I'm doing this for you guys. Now, if you're wondering why I'm actually doing this in the first place, I was recently in LA with the Gymshark guys and I was talking to David Lade and Dave said he attempted this. He did, did the 72 hour fast. Well, he didn't, he did 50. But he said, he, he's like, you feel amazing on it. And then for one, I was feeling like a fat piece of shit after LA, so I thought I'm gonna lock it in for this for this coming week. So first day back, straight into it. Now, I am, um, I'm starving. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm actually feeling all right. It's like eight in the morning, so it's all good. But, um, but before we get into it, guys, I do wanna talk a little bit about um, why why I'm doing it as well, because there are a lot of benefits, so I'll touch on those, how I'm gonna go about it, uh, the rules, all that kind of stuff, and I will take you guys with me on this whole fasting journey. So, let's talk about the main benefits behind it. Okay guys, so this is the second time I'm filming this, because I accidentally filmed the first one in slow-mo. Um, so, before we get started into the benefits and why I'm doing this and everything about it, um, I need you guys to please go ahead and like the video. Or as I said before, give this video a like. They kill me. And also, while you're at it, guys, hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and uh, turn the post notifications on because I want you guys to see when I have new videos so you can spam with views and comments. Then YouTube thinks, hey, this guy makes good videos. Then they show more people. I get more money. You guys get more videos. It's a win-win, okay? So anyway, guys, back into the topic of today. So um, like I said before, when Dave said, uh, I've tried this 72-hour fast, it was really good, I got this and that. I thought I've always wanted to do it and I kind of needed a reason to do it. So I thought, stuff it, I'm making a video on it and I'm doing it. But a lot of times, like in my videos, I've always talked about intermittent fasting, which is where you go for a shorter period of time without food. So maybe you won't eat until 12 p.m., 1 p.m. And um, regarding fat loss, all I've said the benefit of that is simply you generally, you squeeze your calories into a small eating window and you might eat less, so it's good for fat loss. But otherwise, I'm not really big on it. But I do believe that the 24, 48, 72 hour fast, the, the longer fast, I really do think they have health benefits. To give your body a break from always digesting, eating um, is really good. Now, guys, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical expert here. So um, this, from the little research I've done, I'll talk to you about the benefits that I've found. So apparently it is good for, you hear this term like all the time, people love to say it. People, it gets people super hard. Um, autophagy, so which is the cell, it's like cleaning out your cells. It's like recycling your cells. So overall your body should be functioning a lot better. I think this has something to do with the upregulation of your metabolism as well. Because if you think of a cell, inside your cell you've got mitochondria which help break down nutrients for energy. So that's kind of like how fat is burnt. So um, if you have a more efficient, better functioning cell, in, you should have more efficient fat loss. Like that's kind of their argument, which which sounds cool. I don't know if it's legit or not. Also, you get a better regeneration of stem cells, which is ideal. As a result, you get reduced inflammation, you get a better immune health, which is what I need right now because I'm still sick. So there's a whole host of benefits. Like it's really good for anti-aging as well. So like, like I said, I'm no expert here, but I do believe if you fast, do a 72 hour fast, every few months or so, you, you should live forever. And uh, and that's that's pretty much fact, everyone knows that. No guys, like I said, I'm not a medical expert, but in terms of frequency, I would suggest doing a 72 hour fast every three days. And <laughs> and that way you will be never eating food and um, you'll die within a few weeks. So that's all good, but I would, <laughs> I would recommend you guys do it, if you wanna do it, every few months. They say is, you don't need to do it all the time, every few months. So another benefit which I found pretty cool is fat loss. So you will burn a lot of fat doing this, especially just returning to a normal diet. Because for me, I'm accruing like three days worth of uh, calories and I'm just burning it all from body fat. So um, I, I should lose a little bit of body fat from this, which is ideal because I've just come back from LA where I ate like an absolute pig for the past week. So um, I'm kind of ready for it. Now, regarding my training, I've been told that I shouldn't go too crazy in the gym. I should just keep it low intensity. I don't wanna cause that much of a stress response in my body to think, okay, we need to build muscle now. It's kind of like, it's meant to be a fat loss, catabolic kind of process. So I'm not gonna lose muscle, it's three days. Um, I don't think I'm gonna lose muscle at all, but I should lose a little bit of fat. I'll definitely lose a lot of glycogen, so I'll, I'll feel very skinny by the end of this. But, and I could also go for walks. So that's cool with me. I'm gonna train today, I'm gonna go for walks tomorrow. I might have a rest day, we'll see how we go. And the other thing to note is, 
I'm not gonna be having any supplements just because like supplements obviously mixed with, they do have calories, like four or five, so I'm just playing it by the books. And guys, I'm pre that's pretty much it. So before we get started, I think it's important to clarify one thing, the rules. Rule number one, no meals can be consumed for the entire 72 hours. What about snacks? No, Michael, that's still food. Right, but you said no meals. This is a snack. A snack's a snack, isn't it? It's crisps. No food of any kind. Get that out. <laughs> Yo, but like, what about monsters, though? Nope, still calories. Bro. Not even Bertie Bots every flavoured beans? No. What, you fucking mad, fam? What is wrong with you guys? You can't eat. Yeah, it's that simple. Sorry. Rule number two. Now, rule number two. The only liquids you're allowed is water, black coffee, and tea. No calories. Got it? Pretty simple. Don't eat. <laughs> it's about as simple as that. Now, um, I'm about to hit the gym. I've got a filthy back workout coming up, I hope. This is my first workout fasted, so it's time to tear this back right off the bone. Let's do it. I ain't trying to break you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. My life been good and bad and all around. The more things I lost, the more I found. One thing I taught myself to do, no matter the problem, refuse to lose. So, how you wanna make you can choose? If you can't take the heat, don't light the fuse. See, I walk in slow and ignite the room. Like fire, everything I touch, I consume. I'm getting up while y'all just snooze. While you make breakfast, man, I'm on the move. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out ah. In me I trust, yeah I smell like success This Elon Musk, huh? Everybody wanna be like us We don't stop cause the top just ain't enough, huh? I ain't never gay, no fucks, I ain't scamming You know black men don't blush, huh? Came here ready to fight on this night You better just run for your life So guys, back from gym, and I actually had a really good workout. I probably, I wasn't meant to train uh, till failure, but did it. I forgot to mention, mum's doing it as well. Oh, so, mum, how are you finding it? I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> you're looking an absolute thug in my hoodie. <laughs> um, you're hung are you feeling hungry? Oh, very hungry. I've never gone this long <clears throat> without eating. Same, like, I just realized before, I was upset at the thought of not eating anything. Like, that's how much food is part of my life, that it makes me happy. And then when I don't eat, I get upset. So I'm actually, I'm feeling a little bit down. I got like nothing to look forward to. But I, I think one good thing about it is that I've been more productive. How are you? Yeah, I'm getting into the brain fog. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I'm feeling that as well. I'll show you guys my dinner at least. I mean, <laughs> green tea for dinner, which is absolutely awesome. So all in all, I'm not feeling too bad. I'm a little bit hungry now for the first time today, basically. Actually, no, 10 a.m. I wanted to kill someone and eat them. But it's, it kind of like died off a little bit and now I'm starting to feel it. So let's hope I can um, make it through the night and I'm just gonna eat my dinner and uh, I'll check in with you guys later. Time of the updates. So guys, this has been very, very weird. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. As soon as I signed off and I had my dinner, green tea, I went to bed and I felt like sick. Like I was feeling constantly hungry last night to the point where I was like sick with really like no energy at all. This is like the only thing that gives me life source. Um, so, and I obviously can't have that at, at bedtime. So that was that. 
then my sleep was very, very weird. I woke up at like 3 a.m. wired, and then by the time I woke up in the morning at like 6 or 6.30, I was really awake, wasn't groggy, so I felt okay, but still quite hungry, like just an underlying feeling of hunger. But then, weighed in this morning at 75.4, I think. So either way, I've lost 3.4 kilos in 24 hours. I'm attributing that to a few things. Um, one, the sheer, like, there's no food in my system, and I eat a lot, so during the day, I think I would consume, like, one to two kilos of food. I, when I think about it, like, each meal would be about 400 grams, and I have about five meals, so I'd eat a lot. So there's that, there's flushing out a lot of water, there's also depleting my glycogen, so there's all these factors that come into play, and I'm, I've been trying to drink a lot too, like, I've been so thirsty, so it's been very weird. But um, I, I still found that crazy, like three and a half kilos in a day, that's weird. But I guess then it just shows like how much your one day diet can fluctuate, you know, that means nothing. So I think, I mean, if we do the math, I probably would have burnt 250 grams of fat or something like that. So out of three and a half kilos, not a lot of body fat. But anyway, it's still interesting. It's gonna be, it's gonna be weird to see how I go today because I'm, like I said, I'm hungry. I've gotta go train legs today at some point. Ugh. And, um, and I'm, it's, re it's really weird when you don't have to prep prepare meals and like do any of that stuff because it's it that takes up so much of my time like it's what I do as I cook I make a thing of it I enjoy it now I'm like what do I do so like I'm gonna go get some work done and um and then go hit some legs so this is a halfway mark gotta stay strong now one thing I like about fasting is the mental clarity I have better focus and I can work for hours but as I soon found out I needed a lot more than focus to get through this leg workout so I just finished up then and guys I am so dead I probably I didn't go too hard, but I just feel wrecked. Sit in the car for like 10 minutes just to gather myself and hopefully I'll get the um, get the energy and willpower to go home. But this is, um, this is not fun at all. Now guys, I'm actually finding this super easy today. Like for the first time, I found it so easy because I found these new meals. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but there's meals that you can actually have like when you're fasting. Apple, Apple just bought them out. Like here's the ad that I saw. This is what made me buy them. So you've all heard of oxygen. We breathe it all the time. So what we've done at Apple is we've taken what you knew as oxygen and added two hydrogens. Now what that's done is created a revolutionary step in our way to fasting foods. So today I give you Apple Meals. We are launching three revolutionary meals, all perfect for fasting. We have my favorite, the soup. Don't worry about it being too hot because it's always cold. Delicious. The lasagna, easy to prepare, and it goes down a treat with a little bit of crunch. Bellissimo. And finally, your favorite breakfast. Say goodbye to Cheerios and say hello to Apple cereal. Made with the purest quality hydrogens and oxygens on the market today. Amazing. Thank you everyone, and I hope we can all die from starvation together. Thank you. Sorry, I had to put that in there somewhere. Um, if only though, that's what it feels like. Honestly, it's what it feels like. I'm like, I'm starving and then I just have, okay cool, I can have water or I can have green water or I can have black water that tastes like coffee. So it's all, um, it's all pretty sad at this point, but it's just what it is. Not long now. So guys, this is the last day. Now, I have uh, woke up this morning, still just that underlying feeling of hunger like all the time. Um, but still, black coffee down, went for a walk. Met a couple guys that uh, wanted to get a photo, which was, uh, I thought that I was gonna get kidnapped. Just get a hell of me in a few seconds. Oh yeah, you wanna get on the vlog? What's up, what's going on? What's your name? Oh, Josh Handler. Good to meet you, bro. Hey, brother, how you going? Oh, good, we are nearly there. It's like, it's very weird. Like, sometimes I'm, I've got a lot of energy and I feel great, really good focus. I just wanna like do heaps of stuff. And then other times I feel like I'm gonna pass out and I'm like, so, so dead. Like, I mean, if I get up too quick, dead. I just can't, I feel so lightheaded. Like, I really wouldn't recommend this to everybody, especially if you have blood pressure issues or if you're diabetic, definitely not. Um, but this is, it's been very, very difficult. And I, the only thing getting me through is the thought of dinner tonight. Apparently you're not meant to have like a solid meal. Like you're meant to have like a bit of protein, maybe a little bit of veg, like something easy because you're pretty susceptible to any like intolerances you may have. Um, but f that, I'm getting sushi and we are eating good tonight because mum and dad have both been fasting for 72 hours. Joel hasn't because he's a fat piece of shit and he's bulking hard, but mum and dad and me have been fasting this whole time and I said, I want sushi, let's, let's all get it. So that's what's going down tonight. And today I have to film a cooking video for the YouTube channel and that's gonna be so difficult. Oh, and I weighed in today at 74.4. 
That's like four and a half kilos down, which I have no clue where this weight is coming from. I was probably dehydrated, no idea, but um, outrageous. I'm gonna put it all back on tonight anyway. So um, I'll check in with you guys later, hopefully when I've got some food. We'll see you later. I definitely did not over order here. That's heaven. Hey. How good is this? Salmon avocado. This is absolute heaven. 72 hours in, guys. 72 hours in. And the sushi. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Heaven? Mm -hmm. Pure heaven. Oh my god, they're good. I'm gonna eat so much sushi tonight. I'm gonna go into a food coma, pass out. And I'll check in with you guys in the morning. I tell you what guys, it feels so good to have some food back in the system. I feel like a normal person again. This is, uh, this is heaven. So guys, before we end this, I'm gonna give you a little recap and overview of uh, results and kind of like final thoughts. So um, for one, last night, best meal. That was like, that was even better than I thought it was gonna be, which is very rare. So that was, um, that was great. Didn't feel sick, didn't feel like too full or gross or anything, just felt like it was me. And I just passed out as soon as I got home. So let's talk about the results. So overall, the, the most weight I lost was about 4.4 kilos. So like I said, a lot of water, a lot of glycogen, a lot of that stuff. I didn't weigh myself today because I want to wait until my like body just returns back to normal again. So I can keep you guys updated on that. And also what was interesting is I looked at like the daily average of my like calorie expenditure. And according to my Apple Watch that takes into account like relative resting energy and like active energy as well. It says that I burn on average about 2,600 calories a day. So this is just relative measures, but a ballpark figure. So by three, that's about 7,800 and nine calories per gram of fat, so divided by nine. It's looking on average around 800 grams of fat because I didn't eat anything over the entire 72 hours. So I'd say to be conservative, maybe 600 to 800 grams of fat burn within three days, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Like, especially coming back from the States and I probably put on maybe six, like 500, 600 grams. So I think like it probably leveled me out, which is good. Um, but like all, all in all, final thoughts, pros about it, like some good things. I think it was good that I had some good focus at times. Um, and I woke up like pretty awake. I wasn't groggy at all. It was this morning a little bit groggy. And uh, another good thing was I just felt really, really lean. Like obviously, because you, you don't have any water, you're always really dry and lean. Negatives was <laughs> always hungry, like always baseline ate hunger. It doesn't really get much worse. You just always feel empty and hungry. That makes me sad, so that's another con. Another disadvantage is you are weak in the gym. That just sucked. I didn't have really good workouts. On, like day two, legs just was hell. And I just don't think I could, I could see myself doing a 72 hour one again. I don't think I could do that again. I'd probably do a 24, easy, just go till dinner, but I don't think I could do a 72. Um, but guys, if you wanna give it a crack, let me know how you go. Uh, that's, that was my attempt, we did it, we made it, and now it feels good to be eating normal foods again. So, that is it for me guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, comment something great, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, you guys know what to do, stay nice. Slide into your DMs in the PM and the AM Then I slide into your feelings when you see just what I'm saying